Live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 530. Will Donald Trump run for president in 2024? Will Democrats lose control of Congress in November? Well, those were just two of the questions posed to Madeline Dean in Harrisburg today. She's a Democratic congresswoman from the Philly suburbs who has lots of opinions and likes to share them. I give you our speaker for today, Congresswoman Dean. Congresswoman Madeline Dean speaking in Harrisburg. Less than a week after being arrested in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, protesting the reversal of Roe. Which is an unjust law is no law at all. That's true of a ruling too. An unjust ruling is no ruling at all. Proudly pro-choice and pro-gun control, Dean is frustrated by the Republican dominated state legislature and says elections are the key. We have to have a different majority. A majority that actually believes we have a responsibility to do something about gun violence. He began calling election officials. Dean was one of the prosecutors of President Trump's second impeachment. She's certain he'll be on the ballot in 2024. I'm not real good at crystal balls, but you don't need one with him. He's running. The man is going to run. I'm not sure how he would be confiding in her necessarily. Christopher Nicholas is a Republican campaign strategist. He predicts a slew of non-Trump Republicans in 24. And there's a growing number of Republicans who are like, wow, there's just an easier way to beat Joe Biden by running anybody besides Donald Trump. President Biden's approval ratings are in the 30s, very low. Many Democrats are said to be souring on him, but not Dean. I'm very supportive of this president. I don't know what decision he will make about running, uh, but this is an incredibly abundantly qualified public servant. Dean is abundantly critical of Trump. This guy is beyond corrupt, shyster, snake oil salesman, a grifter to the end. But polls suggest lots of Republicans still like the twice impeached former president. There's going to be a core of people who are going to stay with him, but I think that core is going to shrink over time. Most analysts see Democrats losing control of the U.S. House in November. Dean's take? I am a glass half full kind of a girl. <laughs> Uh, we're going to retain control of the house. What did she have for lunch? Was there anything goofy on her plate, Dennis? Um, even the most optimistic Democrats think they're going to lose the house. I cannot see these gavels going into other members' hands. Jim Jordan with the gavel and judiciary, that's enough to get everybody out to vote. So it's not like there's a big chasm the GOP has to overcome. According to the pollsters, 538, Republicans have an 87% chance to retake control of the U.S. House. They need to flip about five seats. 